Welcome to the EngHouse Interactive Touchpoint Agent Training. In this training, I will discuss the layout of the program, go over call handling, which includes making and answering calls, placing calls on hold, and transferring. I will show you how to check your voicemail and call history, and how to use groups and chat features. I will also show you how to access and set up your preferences tab. We will start by going over the Agent Council window. Once you sign in, you need to log in to get Q Calls. You can do this two ways, either by clicking Log In to get Q Calls in the large window with the statistics, or in the smaller toolbar where calls actually come in. All you do is you click the touchpoint icon and select Log In to Queues. To get to your favorites list, click on the search icon. Your favorites list will then pop up. Here is my favorites list. To search for someone, click on the search icon. This will bring up the search box. When an incoming call is ringing your queue, a pop-up will appear in the lower right hand side of your screen. From here you can answer, or you can go to the toolbar and hover over the orange square. This will also give you an option to answer that incoming call. While you are on a call, it shows up in the toolbar and also a pop-up window. The pop-up window has a scratch pad that you can write notes about the call on, which is saved in the call history. This is what a held call looks like. It's an orange square with a pause sign in it. To answer a call when it is ringing your queue, click answer in the pop-up or hover over the orange square which will bring up a green answer button. To place a call, click on the search field. Type in a contact's name, number, or the trunk access code 8 or 9, and then the number. Hover over the number and click call. Or hover over a favorite and click call. To place a call on hold, while on a call, hover over the number and click Hold. To retrieve a held call, hover over the paused call and click Talk To. To transfer a call, while on a call, click the search field. Type in a contact's name, number, or the trunk access code 8 or 9 and then the number. As an agent, you have a few different ways to transfer a call. The first one we will go over is called a blind transfer. After you complete the first two steps, hover over the name or number typed in the box and click Transfer To. This will complete the transfer and make your line available for another call. The second type of transfer we will go over is a transfer to a cell phone. Click on the search field and type in a contact's name. Hover over their name and select the cell phone icon. When you select the cell phone icon, it will put the original call on hold and dial out to the third party. To complete the transfer, hover over the name and click Complete Transfer. The final option for transferring is a transfer to voicemail. Click on the search field, type in a contact's name, and select the voicemail icon. This will drop the caller into the voicemail and clear up your line. To take a break from getting cute calls, click on the touch point icon. Click on take a break for a five minute break or click on the gear if it is an extended break. If you are taking an extended break, select the type of break from the drop down menu and select start break. To end a break, Click on the coffee cup and click finish your break. Work time stops you from getting cue calls. Usually after a call ends, the system will force you into work time so you can finish your notes and prepare for the next call. You can also force work time. To do this, click on the touch point icon. Click go on work time for a predetermined amount of time or the gear if it is an extended period of time. Select the work time option and select start work time. To end work time, click on the clock and select 
finish your work time. Callbacks happen when callers are given the option to leave a message to keep their place in the queue. Once the message reaches the front of the queue, it rings the agent and plays the message when the phone is answered. When an agent answers a callback, they can replay the message, establish a callback, or resolve the callback. When you finish up with a callback, the system will put you into work time to finish notes and resolve the call. If you do not resolve the call, it will ring back through the queue again. Your options for resolving a callback are no answer, the line was busy, or try again at, where you can enter in a time to try again, or the call was dealt with, do not try again, or transfer the call to, to add a contact into your directory, either personal or global, type in a number, hover over the number, and click Add to Contacts. Choose the type of contact, either personal or global. Type in the contact information, first name, last name, company, and department, and click Add Contact. To add a favorite to your list, Click on the search bar and type in a name or number. Hover over the name and click the star to add to the favorites list. Or click on all details. Use the arrow to scroll to groups. Click more groups. And select the plus sign to add to the group that you would like this contact to be in. The presence setting is part of the chat feature. It shows when you are available. To set your presence, click on the touch point icon. Click on My Presence. Select the presence you wish to set. Select the amount of time that you would like this presence set for. And click Change. The chat feature in the touch point agent can be used two different ways. The first way is for chatting between agents. The second way is, if your system is enabled, you can chat with customers as well as take phone calls from them. To chat with another agent, click on the search icon, hover over the name of the person that you would like to chat with, and select Chat. Type a message in the chat box and click Send. To check your statistics, click on the touch point icon and choose Show Windows. From here, you can check the Queues view, which is based on how you take calls from the queue. Agents view shows who is logged in, on a break, in work time, or on a call. It also displays which class agents are logged into. History displays past calls and pending wrap-ups. It also shows voice messages, played, unplayed, queue interaction, direct inbound interaction, and direct outbound interaction. Please see the key below. The dashboard displays statistics related to agent productivity, shows break time, work time, total calls, active calls, and average call handle times. To access your preferences and settings, click on the touch point icon and choose the screwdriver and wrench icon. Within that menu, you can change General, which is Headset and Transfer Settings, Notifications, which include Pop-up and Sound Notification and Delays, Sign In and Out, Automatic Sign In and Out Options, Global Hotkeys, which are keyboard shortcuts, Contacts and Groups, how you can create a new group, Sounds, which is your default ringtones, Change your extension. From here you can assign a new extension. Change passcode, which is changing your password, and reset touchpoint, which resets it to default settings. To log out of touchpoint, click on the touchpoint icon. Choose log out of queues. Once you have logged out of queues, choose exit touchpoint. Congratulations, you have now finished the Enchhouse Interactive Touchpoint Agent Training. If you have any further questions, please contact your system administrator.